So the matter classified on the basis of physical and the chemical properties. If you see the classification, classification mainly deals with physical nature of matter. In this physical nature of matter, or the composition of the matter does not change. There is no change in the composition of matter. Okay, and we won't touch here the chemical properties of matter. Only we are going to deal with the physical nature of the matter. That means no, there is no change in the composition of the matter. Understood? So here you can say matter is made up of particles. See, this is the classification, children. We'll go by step by step methods. Like first one, matter is made up of particles. Matter is made up of particles. So here is an activity to show that matter is made up of particles. Okay. What is the activity? So here we'll take here we'll take a beaker. A beaker. Take a beaker. Like simply we can take 100 ml of water. What is the formula of water children? H2. Okay, take a beaker and add 50 ml of, sorry, 100 ml beaker and add 50 ml of water. 50 ml of water. Fill it with 50 ml of water. And add 1 spoon of or 1 scoop of sugar. Sugar or salt. Anything you can take. Understood, children? So here we have taken one beaker, beaker containing 100 ml of water. Okay, so what is our chapter name? So I have already written at the top. Okay, understood. Here the beaker, the beaker containing 50 ml of water and I add one spoon of sugar or salt in it and dissolve it with the help of a glass rod. Okay, all, all these are the apparatus which we use in the laboratory children. What are the apparatus here we are using? One is the beaker. And the one is the glass rod, and the other one is the spatula. Okay, the spoon, what we used in the laboratory is nothing but a spatula. Take a one spatula full of uh, sugar and allow it to dissolve it. Okay, what did you observe? What did you observe after dissolving it? What do you, what do you observe, children? What do you observe? The sugar and the salt, or the sugar or the salt completely dissolve in the water. Is that the level of water increases in this? No, ma'am. No. What happens to the sugar and water then? Where does this go? Okay. It gets dissolved, so, ma'am. It dissolves completely. As we know, or in our daily things, we just we want to prepare lemonade. It doesn't require any proportions. We just go to kitchen and take the, all the things like vessels, utensils, and we just prepare the lemonade. Yes, so it doesn't require any proportions. According to the flour, you prepare the lemonade. The same way here, when you add the sugar and the salt, the sugar and the salt completely dissolve in water. So the actual thing is here, here, if you consider the beaker consists of water molecules now. What molecules? Uh, the beaker consists of water molecules. These water molecules are closely packed. Am I right? Not too closely packed because the water is in the form of liquid state. So here, in between this water molecules, or simply we can say that spaces are nothing but voids. The spaces between the water molecules are nothing but voids. So the sugar and the salt completely occupy the spaces between the water molecules or the voids between the water molecules. So that we can't find any salt of the sugar solution in this sun, in this beaker, and there is no rays of water we can see. Understood, children? Yes or no? So we can see, we can we, this, simply we can say that the salt is completely dissolved in water, or the sugar is completely dissolved in water. Okay. So the main reason is the sugar and the salt particles will occupy the spaces between the water molecules. Understood? Spaces between the water molecules. Those spaces are nothing but voids. What are they called? Voids. Here he has taken two kinds of solute. Okay, one is salt and the other one is other one is pepper. What is pepper? 
So he has taken equal amount of water in the beakers and he allowed the equal quantity of solute, he added it. So what we observe, we observe that salt is completely, uh, the sugar or the salt is completely dissolved in the first beaker. And the second beaker, you can see that the pepper particles doesn't dissolve. What happens to the pepper particles? Why? Because this salt particles occupies, this salt particles, they are very small so that they can occupy the space between the water molecules. But the pepper particles are a bit heavier than compared to salt particles. So they cannot occupy the spaces between the water molecules. Understood? Simply with this, we can say that matter is uh, made up of particles. Particles are nothing but very tiny and they are very small in size. Okay, so all the solute particles can easily be soluble in the solvents. Easily soluble in the solvents? No, only few solute particles. It is based on what I said. What I said? Based on the properties of the particles. Based on the properties of the particles, they are easily soluble in the solvent. That is nothing but what are the physical properties? What are the physical properties, children? Size, shape, okay, texture. So all this comes under physical properties of the matter. Understood? Understood or not? So by saying this activity, you can easily know that the particles are, the matter is made up of particles and they are easily soluble in the solvents. 